This is a short story about how I found out the film prices were going up. Again, it was a beautiful day in Detroit. The birds were out, the dogs were barking, the birds was chirping. And the paper boy was on his route delivering a Sunday morning newspaper. And he must have been practicing over the winter because boy, he was looking like Patrick Mahomes. And you know, I'm not really a fan of the newspaper. I was... uh, okay, Wh what? Uh, okay. And I was kind of confused about getting hit in the head with a paper until I read the headline. Kodak done lost their minds. And no, it can't be true. There's no way the film prices are going up again. And yeah, the headlines were right. Film prices are up again. Shit. So, as you all may know, the best camera you could possibly have is the camera that makes you want to go out and take photos or make videos. How y'all doing? It's of course your boy Volandis. Now, if you're not new to this channel, you know that I'm a big fan of Fujifilm and Fujifilm cameras. Now, in my opinion, shooting with Fujifilm and using the Fujifilm system is probably the closest thing you can get to shooting with film on a digital camera. But the X-Pro3, in my opinion, takes that film, that digital film shooting experience to the next level. Some of my favorite photos that I've taken in the past couple of years have been with a Fujifilm camera. So I've been raving and on the Fujifilm train for the last couple of years now. So I just obtained this camera from Fujifilm. It's a rental, as you see. I do have to send this one back, unfortunately, but I was able to get out and shoot with it and um, just experience this camera for a little bit. I took it to Palm Springs. I took it to LA. I got out, rode my bike a little bit with it. I've been going out to dinner, going out to breakfast, going just going everywhere with it. And this camera has been right by my side the whole time. So let's look at that.
So I hope you guys enjoyed that little rendezvous, little montage of videos I made shooting with the X-Pro3. Now something I will say that's probably pretty obvious that everybody pretty much knows is that Fujifilm cameras are beautiful. This X-Pro3 is probably one of the most beautiful looking cameras that I've ever used. Also, one of the best just like feeling cameras I've ever used. I do wish that I had more of a compact lens on this camera just to make it a little bit more pocketable, a little bit more baggable, and just to make it look a little bit more like a film camera because nothing screams digital camera like this big digital lens. But also at the same time, who cares if you're using a digital camera or not, but it looks like a film camera. So just in my head, it should look like a film camera completely. That's just me. It has nothing. It, moving on. But yeah, man, this camera is beautiful. And like I said, outside of the other Fujifilm cameras, because I think you can argue that Fujifilm makes a couple of cameras that, you know, kind of look like film cameras, maybe even more than this one. But I think the thing that gives this camera the edge over those cameras is the unique shooting experience you get while shooting with this camera. As you can see, this camera doesn't have a LCD on the back. Well, I mean, it does, but you have to pull the back of it down to access the LCD. But if you do want to just go out and not look at your camera not look at the photos you're really taking and just go out, shoot, kind of dial in your settings and trying to practice and, you know, all the stuff you do while shooting with film, you can do that on this camera. Now, granted, you can just open up the back and look at your photos if you want to, but but if you do really want to challenge yourself, you can keep it closed the entire time, which is what I've been doing. As you already may know, the Fujifilm systems have built-in film simulations, and with that, um, on the back, you can see that whatever simulation you're using, you can just look at it on the back so you never have to guess which film simulation you're using. But I love that because to me, it kind of does give a more of a film-like feeling to shooting with this camera. But to me, I think it's fun and dope and it makes me want to pick up this camera because I love shooting film and I love the experience that I have with shooting with film, which is what I feel like a lot of digital cameras lack. You kind of just can shoot a million photos and everything's all good. With film, you kind of got to, you know, figure it out, make sure you're getting the photos you need. And you can still do that with this camera. But at the same time, if you again are conscious about it, it's a little bit different. Another thing that I really, really love about this camera is the OVF. It does get a little bit tricky. It kind of feels like a rangefinder through a digital camera. And then they also have the EVF, but the OVF is really dope. Um, make You could just like have a true to life, what you're looking at. You can see the things outside of your frame. You can see what's going on around you. I personally think it's really cool. And honestly, it makes me want to take pictures with this camera because I love looking through that viewfinder. And it's easily switchable between EVF and OVF with just the flick of the button on the front of the camera. But yeah, anyway, I've made so many videos on Fujifilm and their cameras. I kind of just wanted to make a video about this one specifically because it's been very fun to shoot with and just an amazing experience and something I've never really experienced before. So yeah, man, it was fun. It was dope. That's all I really got to say about the camera for real. But anyway, yeah, man, that's probably going to wrap it up with this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you are not subscribed to the channel, please do me a favor. Hit that subscribe button. I would truly and gratefully appreciate it. We're almost 300K. Can't wait to see y'all there, man. Ring the bell so you get notified every single time I drop a video. And yeah, do all the stuff the YouTubers tell you to do. Like the video, leave a comment, all that. Would truly, gratefully appreciate it from the bottom of my heart. Also, before we get out of here, thank you to everybody who commented on my community tab post. Um, if you're new to this channel, maybe go and read that and check it out. Um, it'll tell you a little bit more about me and what I stand for about this channel. Um, thank you to everybody who had my back and, you know, show some love on that. I appreciate y'all more than I could ever really express, but... Yeah, with that being said, now I'm going to get up out of here. Let's go do some shit, man. You know the vibes.